I have your favorite fig right here. Come get it. You're doing great, Popcorn. You can do this. <laughs> we believe in you. Aw, let's take a little break. Here, Popcorn, you deserve this. <gasps> Hit subscribe and click the like icon. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. Are you ready for movie night? Hi, Leo. I don't think I can make it. What? Why not? I have to collect the smell of a binturong for my smell collection. A binturong? What's that? Binturongs are animals that smell like popcorn. I need to collect its smell. <sighs> but I'm just so busy. There's no way I'm going to make it for the movie night. What if we help you find the binturong, Kai? Would that save you some time? <gasps> you would do that for me? Of course. That's what Junior Rangers are for. That would be awesome. Call me when you guys find one. Ranger out. Ranger out. An animal that smells like popcorn? I've never heard of that. How exactly does a binturong look like? Let's find out. A binturong has a face like a cat, a body like a small bear, and a tail like a monkey. They're also known as bear cats, but they're not actually bears or cats. Binturongs smell like popcorn because of their urine. They use their smell to mark their territories and attract mates. Where can we find binturongs? They can be found in the forests of Southeast Asia. Then we should get Farah to help us. She's familiar with the forest there. Great idea, Leo. Let's call her on the way there. All right. <laughs> Do you smell that? Popcorn! Popcorn. It's coming from over there. <gasps> a binturong! <laughs> Good job, hero. I'll send Kai our location. Huh? Hero, play nice. That's strange. My handbook says binturongs live high up in the trees and are really good climbers. Oh, no. Are you okay, binturong? <sighs> It's not a very good climber. Is your handbook incorrect, Farah? <gasps> My handbook is never wrong. I think Popcorn just hasn't learned how to climb a tree. Popcorn? popcorn? Popcorn is a nice name for it. He smells like popcorn. Popcorn the Binturong. I love it. While we wait for Kai to get here, we should teach Popcorn how to climb. Here, Popcorn. Just grip the branch really tightly, then pull yourself up. Easy. That's it. You're nearly there. Good job, Popcorn. Let's try another one. Huh? Popcorn, you're never going to learn if you stop at the first branch. I think Popcorn needs a little motivation to climb higher. That's right, Popcorn. I have your favorite fig right here. Come get it. You're doing great, Popcorn. You can do this. <laughs> we believe in you. Aw, let's take a little break. Here, Popcorn, you deserve this. <gasps> gotcha. Ranger Rocky. Phew. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. You're welcome, Leo. Are you guys teaching the Binturong to climb? Yep. Popcorn here doesn't climb very well, Ranger Rocky. Well, the secret is in Popcorn's tail. The Binturong has a prehensile tail. That means that it can use its tail to grab objects. Their tail acts like a fifth limb that holds onto branches and trunks, allowing the Binturong to climb more easily. This makes it one of their more important climbing tools. There is also a leathery patch at the tip of its tail that helps them grip branches more securely. We'll make sure Popcorn practices more. Great. I'll leave you to it. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Oh, dear. Be careful, Popcorn. Hmm. 
I don't think its tail is strong enough. Then let's fix that. I know how we can make popcorn stronger. Lift. Just a bit more. That's it. Come on, higher. You got this. Think of all the trees you can climb after this. That's the way, Popcorn. You're doing great. You're nearly at the top. Just a bit more. All right, you made it, Popcorn. Awesome. Yay! I told you Binturongs could climb. My handbook is never wrong. Oops. Sure, Farah. Hi, guys. Hi, Kai. Hi, Kai. Hi. Thanks for finding the Binturong. I can't wait to collect its smell. Hi, Popcorn. Don't mind me. I'm just here to collect your smell. Got it. Thanks, Popcorn. Oh, it's time for movie night. Let's go. Bye, Popcorn. Yay! Movie night! Bye, Popcorn! Bye, popcorn. <gasps> Wait for me! Mission accomplished. Okay, Leo. Now I need you to... Cut. Leo! Oops, sorry, Katie. Someone's calling me. Oh, hi, Kai. What's up? Hi, Leo. There have been sightings of the mysterious Tanuki in the Japanese forest. Tanuki? Tanuki is the Japanese name for raccoon dog. Some say that the tanuki is a shapeshifter. Here, I'll send you a photo of it. That's just a myth, Kai. A story that isn't true. It's scientifically impossible for an animal to transform itself with magic. Which is why it'll be incredible if my invention captures the impossible. I'm going to film the exact moment the tanuki shapeshifts with my camera. Hmm. How about we look for more information about the tanuki first? All right, Leo. I'll send the photo to my computer. Great. There it is. The tanuki. The tanuki, also known as the raccoon dog, isn't actually a raccoon. They may look alike, but tanukis are more closely related to foxes, wolves, and dogs. Tanukis can climb trees and they can also swim. It didn't say it can shapeshift. But it didn't say it can't shapeshift either. Hmm. If anyone is going to prove the impossible, it's me. I have to find the tanuki and film it shapeshift. Would you guys like to come over to help? Sure, Kai. Myth or not, we'd like to help you and find out more about the tanuki ourselves. Cool beans! I'll share the location where the tanuki was last seen. Meet you guys there. Ranger out! Ranger out! Whoa! Look out! Aha! Uh -huh. Show yourself, tanuki! Ah! It's just us, Kai. That's Hero. Oops. Sorry, Hero. Is this your video camera, Kai? It sure is. Meet the Chimera 1000. A state-of-the-art drone with a superior 10K Ultra HD video camera. There's nowhere a Tanuki can hide from Chimera 1000. This is my new video camera. It doesn't have a fancy name. And it doesn't have as many functions as yours. But it certainly beats my video camera. It's all cool, guys. I could use all the help I can get. Great! Kai can wait up in the trees in case the tanuki decides to climb up. Let's get into position, rangers. Any luck, guys? Nope. Not me. Hero found something. Camera's rolling, guys. Let's go. It's going into that log. Quick, before it escapes. Ranger, Ranger Rocky? Rocky? No way. The Tanuki turned itself into Ranger Rocky. Sorry, Junior Rangers. I'm no Tanuki. I'm just Ranger Rocky. 
But how do we know you're not a Tanuki that shapeshifted into Ranger Rocky? Would a Tanuki know how to talk? Well, um... Look, Kai, I think the Tanuki got away from that hole instead. Oh, man. How are we going to find it now? Tanukis can be tricky to spot. It's especially easy to mistake a Tanuki for a raccoon, but you'll never go wrong if you look out for their paw prints and tails. While the raccoon leaves paw prints that are similar to humans, the Tanukis are more similar to foxes and dogs. Also, raccoons have striped tails, but Tanukis don't. Thanks for the tip, Ranger Rocky? Huh? Where did he go? Look, it's over there. So that's a tanuki, right? Not a raccoon? There are no stripes on its tail. That's definitely a tanuki. Yes, we're coming for you. You can run, but you can't hide from the Kaimer 1000. No! Kaimer 1000! <laughs> The camera is damaged! I can't video the Tanuki now! How could I be so careless? It's okay, Kai. We still have my camera. But it can't fly. Unless... Wow, Katie! Your camera is just as amazing as mine! Thanks, Kai! We've got you now, Tanuki! Shapeshift! Uh, I'm sure it's just getting warmed up. Any time now. It's been hours, Kai. I don't think it's gonna shapeshift. <laughs> Tanakis are not shapeshifters. <sighs> I guess you guys are right. So much for proving the impossible. Well, we tried. Come on, we should head home now. It's late already. <laughs> oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. Hi, Leo. I've got some amazing news. I discovered a unicorn. Wow, a real life unicorn? Unicorns aren't real, but it's right here in front of me. Here, I'll send you a photo. Oh, it does have a horn on its head, just like a unicorn. Hmm, there's only one way to be sure. Let's check the computer. Right behind you, Katie. Meanwhile, Farah, don't lose sight of that unicorn. Roger that, Leo. Ranger out! This will be the most amazing discovery. I'm not going to lose it. I lost it. Oh no, where did it go? Unicorn, where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Hmm, I've got a sinking feeling. Ah, quicksand! Whew! <gasps> oh no, more quicksand! In times like this, check the Junior Ranger handbook. Quacking? No. Quails? Not quite. Where's quicksand? The unicorn! Huh? Two horns? Hmm. It's not a unicorn. It's an Arabian oryx. Oh, it has two horns, not one. That's right, Leo. We simply have to look at it from a different angle. The Arabian Oryx was almost extinct, but it was saved in captivity and brought back into the wild. Its long straight horns can grow to about 70 centimeters long. They use their horns to protect themselves and defend their homes. We should tell Farah it's not a unicorn. You want me to hold your horns? All right. Ah! Oof. Thank you, two-horned unicorn. Now, where's my... My handbook! No! Wait! My book! Ah! My dirt bike! My book! My dirt bike! Leo, it's an emergency! I need help! What's wrong, Farah? 
Are you okay? I'm okay, but my dirt bike is not. It's stuck in quicksand. Quicksand? We'll be right over to help you get it out, Farah. Ranger out. Let's go, Katie. Farah is trapped in the desert. My dirt bike. I thought I'd lost you. Thank you so much. No problem, Farah. Now I have to go get my handbook back. Your handbook? Yeah, the two-horn unicorn. You mean the Arabian Oryx. Oh, so that's what it is. The Arabian Oryx left with my handbook. It must be long gone by now. Don't worry, Farah. We'll help you get it back. Maybe Hero can find its scent. <laughs> and I'll scan the horizon with my binoculars. Huh? Ranger Rocky. Ranger Rocky? Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you Rangers doing in the middle of the desert? An Arabian Oryx ran off with Farah's handbook, and we can't find it. Do you know anything that might help, Ranger Rocky? An Arabian Oryx travels long distances in search of food and water, but they can survive without water for many days, weeks even. It is said that an Arabian Oryx can smell rain from far away. Once it detects the scent of rain, it will travel towards it in search of the fresh grass that grows because of the rainfall. Hmm, rainfall? I can check the weather on my tablet. Rain clouds are gathering over there. Then that must be where the Oryx is heading. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Let's go. Wait for me, Handbook. I'm coming for you. Good luck, Junior Rangers. <laughs> it's getting cold. And dark. And creepy. Ah! <gasps> Did you see that? What? I don't see anything. But it was right there. There it is again. Where? The ghost! <laughs> the ghosts aren't real. Hmm, I don't think it's a ghost either. Let's get closer to check it out. Now, what do we have under here? My handbook! Be careful, Farah. I'll get it for you. Pardon me, Arabian Oryx. Just have to get this for my friend. Got it. Yay, my handbook. Thanks, guys. See you on the other side, Zumi. It is on. Ooh. What was that? Those are not rocks, they are hippos. But why are there so many of them here? Maybe Leo can solve this mystery. Oh, hi Junior Ranger Jane, what's up? Hello Leo, something strange is happening. A small mud hole is swamped with hippos. Have a look at this photo. Hmm, that is strange. But don't worry, Jane. We'll figure it out when we get there. Here it is. The hippopotamus. Hippopotamus, or hippos, tend to live in large groups with as many as 200 hippos. Hippos are semi-aquatic mammals. That means they live both on land and in water. But hippos spend most of their time in rivers, lakes, and mud holes to stay cool. In fact, hippos can close their nostrils and hold their breath underwater for as long as five minutes. So, the hippos want to stay cool. But why do they choose such a small mud hole? I'm not sure, Katie. We'll just have to head there to find out why. <laughs> Hi, Jane. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Poor hippos. They're squashed like sardines. We 
should help them find a bigger place to stay cool. A lake? Let's see. A lake. Found one! There's a huge lake just over that hill. Do you see the lake, Jane? You are not going to believe this. Huh? Where's the lake? Look! It's... Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. <laughs> what are you doing, Ranger Rocky? A rain dance to summon rain. The weather has been a lot warmer this year, and it hasn't been raining much. Would the rain dance work, Ranger Rocky? The hippos are in need of water. I can only hope it would, but what's this about the hippos? They're all squashed up in a small mud puddle. Do you know more about them? I sure do. Hippos might look friendly, but they're dangerous animals. They're super strong and have a mighty bite. The mud puddle is simply too small. We have to find them a new home. I know of a huge river that hasn't dried up. Perfect. We can herd the hippos there. How do you plan to do that, Leo? Hmm. What do hippos eat? Hippos love to eat plants like grasses, small shoots, and reeds. I've got it. I know how we can herd them. All right. Hang tight, rangers. River, here we come. <laughs> We're here! Enjoy! Huh? What's wrong, little guy? It is Mother Hippo. We need to bring her baby back to her. Let's go, Rangers. Platypus One, activate! Hang on, everyone. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Don't worry, little buddy. We'll get you to your mama. It will be okay. Excuse me! Coming through! Gotta get a baby hippo back to its mom! Whoa! <laughs> Hang on, guys! I got you! Uh -oh. Stop! Don't fight! Break it up! It was just an accident! <gasps> oh no! We are sinking! What do we do now? Activate flight mode! The wings will keep us afloat! Got it! Platypus One, activate! Leave it to me, Junior Rangers. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Pardon me. Sorry. Pardon me. Go to Mama. Yay! Now let's get out of here. I love a happy ending. Accomplished. Hey, Leo. What are you looking at? Here, Katie. Want to have a look? Thanks, Leo. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. How's it going? Hey, Leo. I was camping on Christmas Island, and the strangest thing happened. Millions of crabs appeared out of nowhere. Millions of crabs? What are they doing? I have no idea. That's why I'm calling, Leo. It looks like they're headed somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. Here, let me send you a picture. Wow. wow! That's a lot of crabs. I can run the photo through my computer to look for more information. Sounds great, Katie. I'll get back to you once we find out more about the crabs, Kyle. Ranger out! Ranger out! All right. Let's go find out what the crabs on Christmas Island are up to. There it is. It seems those crabs are called the Christmas Island Red Crabs. The Christmas Island Red Crabs? That's right. Based on Kyle's observations, they must be migrating. The red crabs live mainly in the forest, but every year, when the rainy season begins, 
Millions of them migrate to the beach to make babies. Before heading home, the female crabs place their eggs in the sea where they will hatch. Cool. Let me tell Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Leo. Did you find anything? Those are Christmas Island red crabs. They're migrating to the beach to make babies. Hmm, but some of them are going in different directions. What if they get lost? And what if they have to cross the road to get to the beach? <gasps> what if they get hurt? That'd be awful, Kyle. We'll come over to see how we can help guide the crabs safely to the beach. Wow, I've never seen so many crabs in one place. Hey guys, glad you can make it. Hi Kyle. Hi Kyle. <laughs> Looks like Hero is already making sure the crabs move in the right direction. Good job, Hero. What else can we do? I'll just get off right here. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. There are plenty of things you can do to ensure the crabs get to the beach safely and comfortably. It's important to provide the crabs with water to keep their bodies moist as they travel over the land. This prevents them from becoming dry as they're exposed to the sun's glare. We can help with that. And I know just how we can get some water on them. Jetpack, activate. Good thinking, Leo. I'll help you turn the water on. Ready when you are. Ready. They're definitely enjoying it. Here you go, crabs. Plenty of water to keep your bodies wet. Let's see what else we can help them with. Look, the crabs have to cross the road to get to the beach. Isn't that dangerous? Not to worry, Kyle. There's an underpass specially constructed to provide the crabs with a safe passage to the beach. Barricades have also been placed to direct the crabs towards the underpass. <gasps> but there's a hole in the barricade! Oh no! Some of the crabs got through the hole. They're headed straight for the road! I'll fix this, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Then we'd better get those crabs back to safety. Carefully. There you go. Just grab onto my boomerang. Okay. You can let go now. Is that all of them? Uh-oh. Not quite. <gasps> we have to save that crab. We can use the jetpack but we don't have to be the ones actually flying it. What do you mean, Katie? Put the jetpack on the ground and aim it towards the crab. I'll configure the jetpack controls from my tablet. That way, the jetpack can be activated without putting any of us in danger. Brilliant thinking, Katie. This should do it. And activate. You did it, Katie! Good job, Junior Rangers. That was some quick thinking. The barrier has been fixed. No crabs will get onto the road now. Yay! Whew. That's great to hear, Ranger Rocky. Let's go, guys. I can hear the waves crashing. Here we are. The crabs have arrived safely. Wow, there's so many of them. From here on, they'll dig burrows and start making babies. In a month's time, the baby crabs will make their way from the sea to their new home. It will be a sight just as magnificent as this. I'm gonna come back so I can watch the baby crabs migrate. Us too. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I'm glad we managed to guide the Christmas Island red crabs safely to the beach. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. What are you up to today? Hi, Leo. Exciting news. I just discovered a completely new breed of animal. It has the bill and webbed feet of a duck, the fur and body of an otter, and the tail of a beaver. Wow, that does sound very unusual. 
I'm gonna name it the Kylosaurus. It disappeared before I could get a picture. Oh wait, there it is again. I'm gonna try to take a photo of my amazing discovery and send it to you. Talk to you later. Ranger out. Ranger out. An animal with the bill and webbed feet of a duck, the fur and body of an otter, and a... What did he say again? A tail like a beaver. Hmm, that animal sounds familiar. Okay. It's a platypus. Platypus. The platypus, also known as the duck-billed platypus, looks like an otter, but it has a duck bill, webbed feet, and a tail like a beaver. Here's another unusual fact about the platypus. While other mammals give birth to their young, platypuses are one of the few mammals who lay eggs instead. Hi, Kyle. Guys, I think the Kylosaurus, I mean the platypus, wants me to follow it. What is it, buddy? You want to show me something? But my ATV can't go into the water. But our Jeep, the Platypus One, can. Sounds like the Platypus needs help. Send us your location, Kyle. We'll be right over. On it. See you guys soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. No worries. They'll be here soon. That's them. In their very own Platypus. Hey, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Anytime, Kyle. All right, buddy. Lead the way. Wow, it's quick. Then we better keep up. Platypus One, activate. How can something that walks so slowly swim so quickly? Platypuses are able to swim gracefully underwater by paddling with their front webbed feet and steering with their hind feet and tail. Uh-oh. Hang on, guys. Rough water's ahead. Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! That was close. Uh, help! Kyle! Oh, no! Kyle fell in the water. Katie, take the wheel. Got it, Leo. Kyle, I'm going to throw you a rope. Just grab hold of it and we'll pull you in. Roger that. Hero, get the rope and give it to me. Kyle, quick. Grab the rope and tie it around your boomerang, then throw it to me. Here it comes. Oh, no. Got it. Just a little my hand, Kyle. Thanks, Chief. <laughs> and thank you, Hero. Is everybody all right? She bet. A little water never hurt nobody. Hey, where's the platypus? Look, it's over there. It just went underwater for a bit. Let's follow that platypus. Hi, hi, Captain. Hey. It stopped. What's it doing to that tree trunk? It looks like it's trying to get to something behind it. What's behind the tree, little buddy? I bet that the platypus is trying to get to her young inside her burrow. Ranger Rocky! Rocky! Platypuses live in burrows found along lakes, rivers, and streams. They prefer to build their burrows on banks with roots or beneath dense vegetation or rocks, making it hard to spot. The fallen tree must be blocking the entrance to her burrow. That's why she needs our help. Let's hook that tree to Platypus One and get it out of the way. Ranger Rocky, do you think you can help us with the winch? Of course, Junior Rangers. I'll help too. Stand clear. There was a burrow there. We did it! I hope everything is okay in there. Good thinking, Hero. Now let's see where she went. Baby platypuses! We did it! We reunited the platypus family! 
The platypus has got to be one of the strangest creatures ever. I just wish I had discovered it first. Don't worry, Kyle. I'm sure you'll discover an animal that's just as cool. Guys, do you see that? Is it a worm? Is it a bug? I think it might be a new species. I'm going to call it the Kyla Pillar. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, guys. Why is Farah hiding behind that tree? Uh-oh. It's the invisible prankster. Take cover! Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Hero, over here. <laughs> I got you. So, who's shooting at us? What is that? Huh? It's a fish? Wow, a spitting fish. The spitting fish is an archer fish. Archer fish catch bugs and insects by spitting water jets at them. Sometimes the archer fish even jumps out of the water to catch them midair. Archer fish have great eyesight and they can hit targets up to two meters high. They're no quitters either. If at first they don't succeed, they'll spit, spit, and spit again. But if an archer fish spits to catch bugs, why is this archer fish spitting at us? A cricket? Over here! Oh, I think the archer fish is just trying to catch this cricket, but it's not very good at it. Well, from what we just learned, the archer fish will get the cricket soon. Any minute now. Its aim was way off. Oh, no. Is there any way we can help it? <gasps> Not my glasses. I need them to see. Oh, I have an idea. The archer fish probably can't aim very well because its eyesight is bad, just like mine. It needs a pair of glasses. Are you sure they'll fit? Positive. There. Aw, it looks like one smart fish. But why is it sinking? Oh, no. I think the glasses are too heavy for the fish, Katie. Hmm. What if we used a lighter frame? Or maybe its eyesight is not the problem. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. <laughs> what do you mean, Ranger Rocky? The archer fish sees just fine. It's just not a very good hunter yet. Shooting at bugs that live outside the water is pretty tricky business because things look different from underwater. Every archer fish needs to learn how to aim properly. It's not something they can do right away. When a young archer fish starts hunting, it's not very good at it, at first. But after watching other archer fish and practicing, it gets better at aiming and shooting. All it needs is more practice. We'll teach the archer fish how to aim and shoot perfectly. I'm sure you'll do great. Good luck, Junior Rangers. See you around. Bye, Bye, Bye Junior Rocky. Rocky. But how are we going to teach an archer fish to shoot? With a little shooting practice, of course. The most important thing to remember when you're trying to hit something is to stay cool and relaxed. See the target. Be one with the target. Ooh. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. One more. Show off. See? Just be cool. Now you try it. even get to me. Whoa! My handbook! Ah! No! <gasps> You've got to stay cool, remember? Take a deep breath, then go for it. I know you can do it. All right! Way to go! You did it! <laughs> Run like the wind, hero! <laughs> Just keep going. You're doing great. 
Yes. Yes. All right. I think it got the hang of it. Then let's up the difficulty. Hero, time to take this to the next level. <laughs> cool. Look at it go. expert now, aren't you? There's nothing more to teach you, Archer Fish. Bye, Bye Archer, Archer Fish. Fish! Good luck! Something is coming. Huh? What's coming? <gasps> it is here! <gasps> Sandstorm! <gasps> Everybody, get into Platypus 1! Katie, activate the window shield! Wait, where's Hero? <gasps> Hero! I'll find him. Hurry, get inside. Got it. Hero! Hero! Where are you? <laughs> Hero! I'm coming for you. Stay put. I've got him. Let's go. Head east. There is a cave where we can take shelter. Okay? Yep. We sure are. I'm glad we got out of that sandstorm in time. You okay, Hero? You scared us. <laughs> huh? huh? That's not Hero. Oh, no. I grabbed the wrong animal. I'm so sorry, but what are you? And what's with those enormous ears? Over here. I sent you a photo of it, Katie. Can you find out more? Sure, Leo. That is a fennec fox. The fennec fox is the smallest fox in the world. And it lives in the desert. But Hero isn't, and he's out there alone. Sandstorm or not, we've got to go back for him. Let's go! What are you waiting for, Jane? Come on! <sighs> we are too late. <gasps> Uh-oh. How are we going to get out now? We are trapped. This cave goes on forever. Maybe there's another exit. <sighs> but I can barely see ahead. It's too dark. Just use a torchlight. <gasps> Good thinking. Who's there? Just me. Huh? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky? How did you get in here, Ranger Rocky? I was caught in the sandstorm and found this cave. I entered from another entrance. Then let's head there immediately. But much like this one, it's now blocked. Oh no! Do you know how to get out of here, Ranger Rocky? We have to find Hero. Hero? Huh? Where is he? I wanted to grab Hero and escape the sandstorm, but I grabbed a fennec fox instead. Well, we can all take a lesson from your new buddy and dig our way out. Then what are we waiting for? Let's start digging. All right. Would you like a shovel, Ranger Rocky? No thanks, Katie. I'll just do it Fennec Fox style. Jane? <laughs> Same here. All right, Rangers. Let's get out of here. Ah, it feels great to be out of that cave. The sandstorm has stopped. Now let's go find Hero. I trust that you're in good hands, Junior Rangers. If anyone can help you find Hero, it's the Fennec Fox. Besides its ability to dig, it also has great hearing and a keen sense of smell. See you around, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. What do you say we take you back and find Hero together? We could really use your help. <laughs> Hero! Hero! <laughs> the 
the Fennec Fox found something. What is it? <gasps> it's Hero's backpack! <laughs> Look, a burrow! Wait! Come back! We need your help! Don't worry. We won't lose him. Good thinking, Katie. Where's it going? <gasps> Baby Fennec Foxes! So it wasn't looking for Hero after all. Hold up! Hero! 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 <gasps> You're okay! I'm sorry I left you behind. We would not have found Hero without the Fennec Fox's help. Thank you! And I'm really sorry I grabbed you by mistake. <laughs> it seems Hero made new friends while we were gone. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Fennec, Fennec Foxes! Foxes. <gasps> huh? What was that? Excuse me. Are you okay, Katie? I feel fine, Leo. Are you sure? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. I found a proboscis monkey that lost its honk. A proboscis monkey? That's right. They're known for their honks, but this monkey just can't do it. That's a pretty big nose. <laughs> Choo! That was a loud sneeze. It's Katie. I think she has a cold. <sighs> and a really stuffy nose. A stuffy nose? Of course! Maybe the proboscis monkey has a cold too. It can't honk because of its stuffy nose. Good thinking, Farah. We'll be right over to help. Thanks, Leo. Ranger out. There it is. The proboscis monkey. Proboscis monkeys have large noses. Male proboscis monkeys have larger noses than female proboscis monkeys. In fact, a male's nose can measure over 10 centimeters. So the monkey Farah found is a male. That's right. Their large noses help them honk louder, while proboscis monkeys use a variety of sounds to communicate Males, in particular, tend to honk to attract females and scare off intruders. We have to help him get his honk back. Hi, guys. Hello, Farah. I found him sitting alone. <gasps> oh, dear. I'm fine. I don't have a cold. Let me check my handbook. Are you sneezing, Katie? I'm not. <laughs> Choo! Check. You have a cold. And just like the proboscis monkey, my handbook says you need to keep warm. I don't need to. <sighs> this feels nice. Thanks for the scarf, Farah. But I don't think keeping warm is enough. Katie's right. What else can we do? It says here that healthy foods can fight a cold. There are plenty of fruits in the forest, and fruits are healthy. Great idea, Farah. Let's go pick some for the monkey. This ripe fruit looks good. The proboscis monkey will love it. No ripe fruits for the monkey. Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. <laughs> the proboscis monkey can't have any ripe fruits. Because of how their stomachs work, it's dangerous for proboscis monkeys to eat ripe fruits. They might fall sick from it. Instead, Proboscis monkeys prefer unripe fruits. Like this one, Ranger Rocky? Yes, that's perfect. Besides unripe fruits, proboscis monkeys also eat leaves. Leaves sound healthy too. So we'll have to pick leaves and unripe fruits for the proboscis monkey. Glad I could swing by to help. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> Can you honk now? Oh, dear. It didn't work either. What else can we do? Huh? What's happening? Hey! Where are you going? Wait for us! Whoa! 
Let's follow them. Oh no, he's lagging behind. Let's cheer him on, hero. Jetpack activate. <laughs> Oh dear, what's going on? The other monkeys are ignoring him because he can't honk. That's horrible. That's it. We have to help him get his honk back. Must find a treatment. Got it. Another way to clear a stuffy nose is to use steam. Steam? I have just that. Here, Leo, place this under the monkey's nose. Great idea, Farah. The hot steam from the tea will clear his nose. Here, Katie, you need this too. Ah, wow. I can finally breathe normally again. And you said you didn't have a cold. Can you honk now, monkey? <sighs> it's still not working. Wait, what's that sticking out of his nose? <gasps> Something stuck. It's coming out there. A leaf? Yeah. 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 He's hacking. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't a stuffy nose. His nose was stuffed with a leaf. They're friends again. Bye, monkey. Have fun. <gasps> Let's go home, Katie. We need to get you to bed. Mission accomplished. Hero! Hero! Is this thing loud enough? Hero, there you are. Leo, I could hear you all the way across the garden. Really? <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Katie. Huh? What do you... I forgive you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. What's up? Leo, I really need your help. I lost Patches. Calm down, Kai. Who's Patches? <sighs> Patches is my sister's pet rabbit. I brought Patches to Rabbit Island to play. Rabbit Island? Yeah, it's an island full of rabbits. <gasps> full of rabbits? That sounds fun. It was fun until I lost Patches. I can't find her anywhere. Don't worry, Kai. The Junior Wildlife Rangers are here to help. We'll be right over. Thanks, guys. See you on Rabbit Island. Ranger out. Rabbit Island is a small island just off the coast of Japan. There are hundreds of rabbits on the island, and it is a popular tourist destination. How did so many rabbits end up on one small island? It is said that all the rabbits came from a small group of rabbits brought there by some children. Oh no! It also says that cats and dogs are not allowed on the island. Oh, dogs are not allowed? Sorry, Hero. You can't come with us this time. Look at all the rabbits! I'm in heaven! They're so cute! Can I take you home? Hi, guys! Thanks for hopping by! Anytime, Kai! My sister is going to be so mad if I don't find Patches! Do you have a picture of her? I sure do! Here! I see! Patches is a white rabbit with black patches around her eyes! But Patches is special! There's a patch of fur that's shaped like a heart near her tail! There are loads of white rabbits with black patches here. It's going to be difficult to spot a heart. I was hoping Hero could help sniff her out. <laughs> Hero, you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> Aw, I can't say no to that. I guess you really want to join us. I don't know, Leo. Dogs are not allowed. Please? We need Hero's help. Fine, but you'll have to be on your best behavior, Hero, 
hand, you'll have to wear a disguise. How about some rabbit ears? Awesome! Here, Hero, do you smell patches anywhere? Wait for us, Hero! Uh, I think Hero is a little distracted. No, Hero, stay! It's no wonder dogs are not allowed on the island. How are we going to look for patches now? We can simply use my x-ray vision to see what's happening underground. Great idea! What do you see, Kai? I see lots of rabbits. Let's find some food to lure the rabbits out. Or we can use a carrot smell bomb. It's going to smell like carrots everywhere. The rabbits are going to love it. One carrot smell bomb coming right up. It's working! But we're back to square one. With all the rabbits around, it's impossible to find Patches. Hmm, does Patches respond to anything special? Well, oh, oh, Patches falls asleep when my sister sings her a bedtime lullaby. So, if someone sings a lullaby and a rabbit falls asleep, we'll know that's Patches. But how are we going to sing to all the rabbits on the island? With this, of course. Great idea, Leo. We should be able to spot a sleeping rabbit from here. Ready, Kai? <clears throat> patches, patches, go to sleep. No more carrots, time to sleep. Huh? Something's wrong. None of the rabbits are falling asleep. Let me try. Patches, patches, go to sleep. No more carrots, time to sleep. Nope, no sleeping rabbit either. Are we doing something wrong? What if it has to be a girl's voice? Me? All right, for Patches. Patches, Patches, go to sleep. No more carrots, time to sleep. The rabbits are running away. Was my singing that bad? Look, there's a rabbit asleep. White rabbit, black patches around his eyes, a heart-shaped patch near his tail. Patches! It's her! It's really her! We found patches! Yes, and it's all thanks to you, Katie. That was some awesome ranger work. Thanks, Leo. And just in time, it's my sister calling to check on Patches. Can we keep today's mission a secret? <laughs> <laughs> Legends say that a ferocious river monster lives in the waters right below us. And I'm going to find it. No, I'm not scared. <laughs> ah! <gasps> what was that? Ranger Pale, what's going on? Hi, Leo. I'm stuck in the middle of a river, and there's a giant monster fish in the water. A giant monster fish? Yeah, here's a picture of it. <gasps> Whoa, it does look scary. I don't know, Leo. We can't see it clearly. Let's clean up the image on the computer. Good idea, Katie. I'm right behind you. And there. The fishes in the water are red-bellied piranhas. Oh, no! Please come get me! Of course, Peo. Stay put and we'll be right over. Thanks, Leo. See you soon. Ranger out! Ranger out. Peo! Pico! We're here! Leo! Katie! I'm so glad you found us! Good to see you, Peo. Reach for my hand and climb aboard. <gasps> What's that? Whoa! You, Peo. Phew! I'm okay. Th 
That was close. What is it, Hero? <gasps> There's a piranha on your back, Teo. Ah! Get off my back! Shoot! Ah! Leo, it's over there! Get it! Get it! I know! I'm trying to grab it! Get away from me! I'll get it. Uh, is it gone? I think so. Huh? What's that sound? Is it a snake? <gasps> no! It's worse! Platypus One is sinking! We're sinking! Ah! Oh, no! What should we do? Quick, Leo! Activate submarine mode! Right! I'm on it! Platypus One, activate! really see where we're going. The water's so murky. Switch on the lights, Leo. Oh, right. <gasps> Uh-oh. Yikes! The piranhas are following us! <laughs> ah! Let's use flight mode. They can't follow us if we're in the air. Flight mode, activate. Huh? Uh, it's not working. Oh, no! Platypus One must still be broken. Come on, come on, work! Wow! Whoa! What's happening? Ah! Ah! I, I can't control it. I don't want to die. Ah! Ah! It's coming for us! Whoa! Ah! Whoa! <sighs> what a ride! What is it, Hero? Whoa! Piranha! Oh, oh, no! Not again! Stand back, Junior Rangers! Ranger Rocky! I got it! Back into the water you go! Thanks, Ranger Rocky! I thought we'll get attacked by the piranha for sure! They are river monsters! I don't know about that, but it was really scary! Actually, piranhas are not as scary as you may think, Junior Rangers. Red-bellied piranhas may not be cute and cuddly, but they are also not the monsters that TV shows and movies make them out to be. We've misunderstood them. I guess we just have to be careful around the red-bellied piranhas. That's right. Stay away and don't provoke them. Hit subscribe and click the like icon.